Hi Aries, <clears throat> welcome back guys. I hope you all are doing well today, okay? So let's tap in Aries. Let's see what's going on with my beautiful and my handsome Aries, okay? Thank you guys for your love, your support, your donations, and your super thanks, Aries, okay? Sending a lot of love and light and hugs to you all. I'm returning the love back to you tenfold, okay? Let's see y'all. <clears throat> All right, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses, <clears throat> excuse me, please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm Aries and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones, return it back to the sender. Block any interferences that could be stopped in the messages from coming through. Clear, concise, and precise messages for my Aries and protect me as I channel the messages for Aries. So... This deck, I'm going to show you the deck that I got, Graffiti graffiti by Vibe About It. I know you're going to ask about it because it's such a big deck I, and y'all like my decks. So, um, you know, <laughs> I got the deck off of Etsy if you're interested. So, let's see what come out of this big ass motherfucker. Let's see what come out of here, Aries. Okay. I love a big juicy deck, honey. A lot of information in this thing. So, let's see. What's going on for Aries? Okay, I'm about to turn my fan on, honey, because it's hot. Okay, so we got numbing, indifferent, and detached, not wanting to feel pain, love affair, intense and unlikely, out of the blue. Mm. What else? Okay, that's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot. Let's just see what it is. <clears throat> Cutting ties. Expired and discontinued use. Suedo influencer. Fake accounts, fake followers. Fake it until you make it. Go watch Capricorn's reading Aries. <laughs> Mama's boy. Yeah, go watch Capricorn. Her opinion is the most important. Places mother above everyone else. Scare tactics. Arousing fear and alarm. Peaked already. Their glory days are over. Ponzi scheme. Too big is going to fail. Con artist and schemer. Okay. All right, Aries. Bottom of the deck is toasting. Celebrating wins and acknowledgement. So this is you. <clears throat> You're celebrating here. Okay, Aries. So I feel like the culprit in the situation here is somebody mama. Somebody baby mama or somebody real mama, like they they biological mama, the one that that pushed the, somebody out their funky ass vagina mama. <laughs> that that one. Okay, um, somebody here got mommy issues, Aries. This mother of this person's, if this is somebody mama, they don't like you. They there you are, Aries. That they, they can't stand your ass, cause you know something about them possibly. They don't like you. They've been trying to get you up out of here. Yeah, look, extortion, six of pentacles reverse. Oh, okay, now somebody going to jail for that shit. Extortion, six of pentacles reverse, and the justice reverse. Somebody's going to jail for scamming. Okay, what I picked up in Capricorn's reading, with which I didn't say in the reading because I noticed it when the camera turned off. Somebody here was trying to dig up some sort of personal information on you, on you to keep to get you gone here for some of you. That's for some of you here. Okay, that's not for every damn body. So d definitely go watch Capricorn. I don't know if you have that in your chart or this person. <clears throat> Got that in the airs, but let's just see though. Um, There's somebody here that's running around having a lot of flings and love affairs here with multiple people to try to numb some sort of pain. Their mama could have put, put them up to this or their mama... <laughs> somebody mama somebody mama is sick as fuck man i'm telling you <clears throat> what's this here for aries let's get into it what's okay empress here center wands the king of swords and the sun and the magician reverse and the emperor mm. <clears throat> uh, 
Okay. Something there's something that you're letting go of. You're releasing something here, or spirit is coming in to help you get rid of something. For some of you, some sort of black magic was done on you. But the the sun talks about freedom. This could be Archangel Michael coming in to protect you from something. Or there's something, there could be a court case or something going on in court to, to get rid of whatever the fuck this is. But this, okay, yeah, let, let's just see. So the Empress was at the bottom of the deck first. So Taurus, Libra energy, yeah, two of cups. Some of y'all getting ready to go be with your Emperor because that was definitely here. You getting ready to go be with your masculine here. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune, the Star, and the Eight of Wands. Yeah, something is moving forward in a successful <clears throat> way. But let's just see, though. It was numbing and different and detached, not wanting to feel pain. Four of Pentacles. So this could be this person holding on to you here. <clears throat> They're holding on to you. Whoever this is got mommy issues. Definitely Capricorn popping out first. Capricorn sun. So go watch it. They maybe they not be may may not be a sun sign, but they got Capricorn somewhere in their chart. So somebody here is um. This is like having control or possession, or somebody's maybe trying to control how they feel about you by. Like they said, numbing their feelings. Okay, what's numbing here with the Four of Pentacles? The Page of Pentacles here. <clears throat> or this person is under control. Whoever this is that's being numbed here or... I mean, they numbing themselves, but I'm saying somebody's under someone else's control, possibly, is what I'm getting. Page of Pentacles, this is some sort of plan or strategy or somebody being studious. For some of you, you could be a tarot reader or you could do some sort of magic. You could be into earth magic or you could be studying for something, but this could be like good news as far as your finances goes, a raise, a promotion. <clears throat> or somebody has been trying to control you too because y'all have a child but let's see child look what's what's the four of pentacles okay yeah look king of cups reverse scorpio so yeah whoever this is is a gaslighter they are um very manipulative okay this person is depressed they're very moody and depressed and mean this person could be very mean i feel like they also too drink a lot or they on some sort of drugs or something like that <laughs> mm. what's this what's this this person could do magic let's see what somebody okay what's the four pentacles with the king of cups in reverse the six of swords reverse mm. some sort of trouble could be heading this person way literally or here come this person they're coming back i don't fucking know this could be too, this king of cups, this person, whoever this is right here, they're being haunted by something. It's a spirit or something like that, that they need to get up off of them. But it's because they're holding on to so much pain. Somebody needs to get help for whatever the problem they got. Cause, But I feel like this person is like heading not into peace when karma waters. It's like out of the frying pan and into the fire. And something getting worse than what it was. This could be too, some sort of accident with the water. Or something like that. <clears throat> or this, this Six of Swords in the reverse is you standing your ground. Or this person has to learn how to stand their ground. But this person is very emotionally immature. They're childish. Okay, I don't know. Okay, Four of Cups, yeah, Knight of Pentacles. They, for some of you, this person wants to go to court. And something's going to be revealed in court. Yeah, look, the Tower. The Tower of the Five of Wands. There's some sort of conflict or manipulation here that's going on. Or I didn't even mean to say that. Somebody's battling an addiction. A drug addiction or 
I don't fucking know, man. It's a lot going on. What's the King of Cups reverse? What's their problem? The Eight of Cups here and the Seven of Wands. <clears throat> so, yeah, I mean, I feel like you see the bigger picture of a situation. Or this is King of Cups that does. Maybe they walking away. They see a bigger picture of a situation. But I feel like it's got them, like, really feeling a certain kind of way. Maybe they're going to have to learn how to set boundaries. But I, for some of you, it feels like somebody's like trying to, the, they're trying to take the first steps to like healing or something. No lie, but maybe somebody's too immature. They don't know how to do it. So they just drink and have sex or do whatever to hide their pain or whatever this is. The moon reverse and maturity. Is somebody here going to jail or something is coming out. Something is being revealed, whatever the fuck this is. Or this could be you moving away from fear, anxiety, worry, stress. Okay, Leo, Mars here, Pisces, Saturn. But this could be you where you set boundaries here and block this person. And they see why now, or they should be seeing why. I don't know. Or they getting ready to be seeing why. This is you setting boundaries here, uh, standing up for what you believe in. <clears throat> Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Look, I don't know. What's the uh what's the page of pentacles? Somebody getting ready to get in some trouble. Page of swords here and the ace of swords in the reverse. Okay, this part, for some of you, this person could be in conflict with a lot of people, too, is what I'm getting. Um, some of you guys could be speaking up against some sort of injustice here about some lies. This could be like um, somebody's in a really toxic environment. There's a lot of animosity and hostility here. Something about arguing, too, about someone or something. You could be a reader. Something could be coming out in a reading that's causing a lot of back and forth. Somebody is finding out that you're telling the truth about something and somebody else lied to cause hostility or mess between y'all two or something like that. This could be your child's father. This could be uh, whoever, somebody in your family or whatever the fuck, whoever that is, brother, cousin, sister, uncle, somebody, some damn body. I don't know. Okay. There's some sort of information coming out about something. This could be like a document or delayed news. Something was the wrong decision. Somebody made the wrong decision to do something. There's some frustration here. Somebody scatterbrain. King of Cups in reverse, their gifts are blocked. Their gifts are blocked and their intuition is blocked. They can't even see straight or think straight, really, to be honest. Like, I don't know. What the fuck? Let's see. What's, um... <clears throat> what's the Ace of Swords in the reverse? Some some gossiping or something? Yeah, look. Somebody in somebody's family did that shit. Whoever this is. So, but for some of you, this could be somebody you divorced. Somebody you got kids with, but y'all co-parent. There's some sort of dysfunctional family dynamic here. Or this is they family. Somebody could be finding out something about the fact that they were adopted or something about foster care or somebody, I don't know, somebody finding out something that's fake and it's phony and it's a facade. It's not real. I feel like, too, somebody's like talking to other people in their family to find something out about someone that they trust or they so-called should they feel like they should trust in their family but they should fucking not there's some sort of family secrets that's coming out and something is there's like arguing and shit going on somebody in someone's family started some sort of chaos or drama or built some sort of hostility around you and somebody it's what i'm getting go watch capricorn's reading that's putting the story together honey or go watch all the asses go watch all the damn signs or whatever this is but there's just a whole bunch of lies here what's the ace of swords reverse ten of cups reverse there's like 
or somebody here somebody here could be losing a home or could be becoming homeless or i don't know two of pentacles reverse yeah something is chaotic it's messy it's out of control capricorn jupiter pisces mars a lot of arguing i feel like there's arguments somewhere in a family dynamic it's a mess <clears throat> Somebody at two of pentacles in reverse is like biting off more than you can chew or. I mean, the reason why somebody got so many problems is because they keep listening to their family. Somebody just listens to their lying ass mama, their lying ass daddy. It's their mama's boy or their baby mama, baby daddy or um, their cousin, their uncle. It's like a whole bunch of dumb shit going on. Somebody just can't be trusted. Two of pentacles reverse is um chaos it's messy somebody here biting off more than they can chew or there's some sort of money deal gone wrong too is what i'm getting something is a mess or somebody parents could be kicking them out or something i don't fucking know child mm. <clears throat> Child, look, child, the judgment reverse to justice. Somebody is going to jail, honey. They going to jail. Oh, they in spiritual jail, but I feel like somebody really going to jail. Somebody gave someone the wrong advice to do something. I don't know what this is. This is a mess, though. This could be your ex here getting ready to go to jail. Or they going to have to answer to something. Okay, or this could be your ex in a fucked up relationship, but they got to keep on pretending. That shit is falling apart because this person is unhappy and I feel like it's really hitting home now. They they not, they don't, for some of you, somebody's mother gave this person advice like, yeah, you know, you know, that's stupid saying to get over one person, you go lay up under another is what I'm getting. Somebody here went towards somebody that's fake and phony. For some of you, whoever the person they laying up with could be, could be in cahoots with their own damn mama you know what I'm saying? Something like that. Yeah, look at they, this lying ass bitch. I'm telling you. This Queen of Swords in reverse? Oh, they getting ready to get it. This is a lying ass hoe. Queen of Swords reverse, Will of Fortune, the Star, the Eight of Wands. Yeah, this is somebody that was behind that. Whoever mama this is. This is somebody mother. That's the, the Queen of Swords in reverse is an older woman. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius woman. So this somebody, either they bitter ass ex, baby mama, whatever the fuck this is, or this somebody mother. That's mad because you're in your purpose and you're moving forward. And they got this King of Cups here to do something to you or be nasty to you, be mean or whatever the fuck this is. Whatever it is, knowing that this person got a health problem too. This person is emotionally and mentally unstable. And she knows that, but she don't give a fuck because she don't like you that much. Mm-mm-mm. I, look, I look. I'm not giving nobody benefit of the doubt. Really, it's like it's your ancestors is here protecting you. <laughs> but it's it's just like you grown too. It's like you need to get it together. I'm not gonna say oh it's because of their mama, honey. You're grown. You're a grown ass man or woman. What the fuck you mean? What's the what's the page of swords? Somebody here, the two of cups in the reverse. What's page of swords? Two of cups reverse. The high priestess. Pisces. Somebody is a tarot reader. The high priestess with the two with the page of pentacles. Two of cups in the reverse is a breakup. It's is two you and somebody not saying eye to eye. Y'all broke up, but y'all don't see eye to eye. And they're watching you. Or somebody's monitoring monitoring you and this person relationship to make sure y'all don't come together, which is even more fucked up, especially if y'all got kids. And some more shit going on. Somebody's a fucking clown. They're a clown. I feel like it's somebody in this person's family. I don't even get that it's the person that they with either. It's somebody in this person's family starting a whole bunch of shit. And it could be their fucking mother. Somebody's a loser. It's like real bad. You could be on a cusp of Pisces, Aries. But I feel like with the high priestess, you know why there, there's been a breakup. You told they ass why. 
the page of swords is you speaking up against like injustice or you saying something. I don't know. But you're definitely a reader. Somebody here getting information from you or something like that. It's like they're putting two and two together. You guys will be saying two, two, two. Okay, let's, let's move on. What's a love affair intense and unlikely out of the blue? The devil reverse. The king of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. For some of you guys, you're getting something new. That page of pentacles is new. You building on a solid foundation somewhere else. Because I feel like you and somebody are incompatible. For some of you, that could possibly be the case. Something didn't go through either. Ace of Swords in reverse is something that failed. It, it didn't work for somebody in your family. And it could be just King of Cups right here that did something to you. But now they're getting ready to regret it, though. They're definitely getting ready to regret it because they shouldn't have did what they did. But some of y'all have an offer coming in here to build something on a solid foundation. Or this is a job offer. Excuse me. The King of Swords. So, okay, so this could be Archangel Michael protecting you from something or bringing you clarity. Or this is um, something going on. This could be a, a lawyer or a judge or whatever. The devil reverses detaching. I mean, uh, taking your power back in the situation. What's the devil reverse? Okay, okay, growth. Seven of Pentacles. Something here growing, something being nurtured or a good investment towards Saturn. Or this is like patience. Maybe you learn how to be more patient. And you learn how to be more practical. Okay. So you learned some sort of lessons here. I feel like somebody been attacking your ass constantly. And they ass can make some karma. Mm. What's the devil reverse with the seven of pentacles? There's something that you've grown. The queen of swords reverse. Now this could be you where you've been a bit unforgiving. So you could be learning how to stop being so resentful or stop being, cause I feel like you're, you're reviewing something. You're taking a second look at it or you're, or you're looking at something. Or this is King of Swords that's looking at whoever the fuck this Queen of Swords is in reverse, doing whatever the fuck they're doing. But um, somebody here's a liar. Or this is you lying to yourself about something. Let me see. What's the what's the Queen of Swords reverse? The Death Card reverse. What's Queen of Swords reverse? Death Card reverse. Scorpio and the Nine of Cups. A smear campaign, flying monkeys, whatever the fuck. Whoever this is right here. <clears throat> somebody here learn how to set boundaries with their mama or they getting ready to. Or that's what they need to fucking do. Okay. That's number one. The Nine of Cups. This is like, I just feel like right now, whatever this is, is so fulfilling. Somebody's only worried about themselves. Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment, though. This could be talking about fame, recognition, status, acclaim, fortune. Okay. Prosperity and abundance. So this death card reverse, somebody here won't release you. And I feel like it's this queen of swords in reverse. Okay, so so what I'm getting right here, right? You and somebody been broke up. But I feel like this queen of swords could have this person over here watching you because you're in abund you're, you're abundance or you're this, you're that. Mm -hmm. 
they're trying whoever this queen of swords is got a plot to do something to you like they just don't want you here they don't want you here and i feel like they just want to keep trying to take you out well, whoever the fuck that hoe is right here this queen of swords reverse this person could have um cursed you that queen of swords reverse they could have cursed or hexed your ass but you've broken free from whatever this hex and curse is because you've grown there's something that you've matured from or you've healed from or disconnected from and i feel like it's you've let something toxic go it's either a trait a mindset or a person that you've let go so whatever this curse is or this hex is is it fucking relevant what's this uh what the fuck is this um what's this death card reverse scorpio energy yeah somebody's trying to ruin your reputation with the eight of pentacles in reverse something has been hitting the dead end though it ain't been working could be a virgo Somebody has been lying and saying that something is not over between you and somebody, and it is, but this is to get somebody to keep attacking you. That's what I'm getting. They've been trying to keep you and somebody at odds or something like that, or just causing a whole bunch of friction and bullshit. Fuck. <laughs> like, somebody's a fucking clown. They're a clown. But it's because somebody can't get over you. They're still holding on to you. But I feel like they're over-exaggerating something. Like, yeah, well, they still fucking around. They still sleeping, but that's not true. This person just... Okay, what's the death card reverse with the Eight of Pentacles reverse? Something, somebody's stirring up some bullshit. Knight of Wands. Somebody's been saying that somebody has been sleeping around with you. They've been cheating, but it ain't with you. Somebody's been saying somebody's been cheating or sleeping around... And they have. They've been having sex with somebody else, but it ain't you, though. It's not you. That's, so I don't know who the fuck think that. Somebody's been framing somebody. That's what somebody's doing with they fucked up ass. Somebody to fuck this hoe up. Get their ass a good ass ass whooping. That's what I feel. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, somebody's non-committal or whatever the fuck this is. That's why somebody's been stalking your ass the whole damn time, trying to figure out if you with somebody else and you're not. Or you with this specific person and you're not. The fuck? Knight of Wands. is like player energy. Somebody's like, you know, in and out. They don't want to settle down. They've been running around. Whatever the fuck this is. <sighs> Somebody, Eight of Pentacles reversed. They're not doing the inner work here. And the Death card reverse is something that like somebody not wanting to change or they're not they're not changing here child look what's this um somebody could be unemployed or losing their job so this queen of swords gave somebody bad advice on how to make money or do something here and it could have something to do with some spell work but let's just see though yeah look the ace of wands and the knight of cups in reverse So this queen of swords in reverse told this person to go out, have sex with other people's other people and pull on your energy while so sex magic, maybe. Knight of Cups reverse, ace of wands here. Somebody here too is down low. Somebody's having sex with men. Go watch Capricorn. I ain't gonna say it again. <laughs> it's like, go watch Capricorn's reading. Somebody is down low. And I feel like the bitch know that though. This is a fucking mess here. I don't know what this is, boy. Has somebody been going around having sex with somebody knowing that they have an STD or something? What the fuck is this damn... What's the Seven of Pentacles, man? What's the Seven of Pentacles? The star, yeah. So, this is you. Look, you can have Aquarius in your chart. Somebody is possessed, too. I feel like somebody needs to stop smoking or drinking or something like that. Because that's when the demonic entities attach. And they start wilding out. But um, you could be seen in a public... I feel like you're getting ready to get some sort of inheritance. There's some sort of growth or expansion here for you. Or there's a payout or something like that. Some of y'all could be getting ready to do something or invent something. You're original here. You're a trendsetter with the star. This is a lot of optimism and faith, hope. 
your faith is strong as fuck. And that's why this Queen of Swords in the reverse is a mad bitch. They're so mad. Because I don't know what this is. They think that whatever you're doing is fake or is phony or you don't have no power for real. Oh, yeah, well, we can take her out. We can take him out. Bitch, you be taken out first. I can guarantee you that. It looks like you're getting ready to. Somebody here, in order for their ass to not die or be sitting somewhere looking crazy, they keep sacrificing somebody that's close to you and getting them to do their dirty work for them. That's what they're doing. Something like that is going on. What's the Nine of Cups? But the, the, your wish, whatever this is you're wishing for is coming in. Yeah, the world and the damn magician in reverse. Somebody here doing some sort of magic on your new beginnings or they're doing some sort of magic on whatever you do for your like your platform. If you're online doing something because they want you to be quiet because they shit getting ready to get rocked. That's what. Something getting ready to come out about this bitch. What's this? Yeah, the sun. Exactly. About this fucking magic and all this competition and all this dumb shit. What the fuck is this damn nine of cups? The hangman. Yeah, somebody's trying to sacrifice you. That's why they won't let you go. The shit is over with, long overdue. Like, something is done with. Even the person that they send to attack you wants to leave. But this bitch is so adamant on trying to do it. And I feel like, bitch, this is going to be the death of your stupid ass. So you keep it up. Somebody's real adamant on trying to sacrifice your ass. Like, real shit. What's the, what's the, what's the nine of cups in the, in the hangman? And the bitch, I guess her, yeah, look, the empress. That's because you're the empress? The fuck? Child, please. <laughs> this person better go ahead with they stupid ass. They better go find something safe to do. Real shit. I feel like somebody too is trying to block your fertility because they mad that they can't have no damn kids or something like that or the bitch is fucked up somewhere they can't manifest shit they gotta do magic or curse somebody to keep getting whatever the fuck they're getting this whoever that queen of swords is is dark as fuck like they're dark but the empress you can definitely have towards Libra in your chart so yeah i feel like you're getting wish fulfillment some of you guys there's a pregnancy announcement or an engagement announcement coming in wish fulfillment is coming in in whatever f shape form or fucking fashion but i feel like you are very abundant you're very um fertile. You got a lot of really good ideas, a lot of new projects. You just know how to attract abundance. And somebody here trying to sacrifice you. But this could be somebody here looking at something from a different perspective. Or this is you. You've released something. You've let something go. You got Pisces in your chart. What's uh, the, the hangman? Or you could be on the cusp. What's the hangman? The damn five of pentacles. What's the hangman with the five of pentacles? The three of pentacles. Taurus, Mercury, we got Capricorn, Mars. So, yeah, somebody's trying to sacrifice you for some sort of abundance because they ain't got shit. Or some of you guys, you have learned you have learned from something. It's something where somebody's doing something ritualistic that if you don't pass your, your test or go towards your destiny, your north node, then it's like, you know what I'm saying? You gotta, it's, you're on a very special mission here, Aries. You got to pass your test, period. I feel like you are. You're on the right track. And I feel like this is your ancestors protecting your ass too. But you've learned from your past mistakes or there's some sort of partnership coming in or these people are working together. There could be three, f three to five people working together to try to sacrifice your ass for abundance or for somebody here is just greedy as fuck. This already think about is themselves. This nine of cups here, they, they like, they like a lot of superficial things, very materialistic. That's what I'm getting off of that. For some of you, this queen of swords in reverse is divorced from this king of swords. This could be a father and mother, like an older couple. And this king of swords is, I'm channeling this shit again, man. This shit came up a lot for Aquarius. Aquarius is coming out in this reading a lot too. Okay, but. Or this king of swords, whoever says that you with, need to just fucking sacrifice their damn mama. They need to get rid of this hoe or something like that. <laughs> like something. But um, for some of you, somebody's father likes you. Like not like that, but they admire you or they fuck with you or they just got integrity. But they queen, the queen of swords in the reverse, somebody could be learning about their background, their, their family lineage and heritage and what, the kind of, what kind of shit this damn queen of swords is on. Because this is an evil-ass bitch here. And I feel like for some of you, this is like your ex. Your baby daddy, your baby mama, not really understood. Because they so fucked up and they got mommy issues, they keep wanting their mama's approval for shit. And their mama just send them down a fucked up place. all Send them to a fucked up place all the time. 
and keep getting them in stupid shit. And this this Queen of Swords in Reverse, they, their dad, I mean, their ex-husband is divorced here, but your your baby daddy or your baby mama's, yeah, confirmation, your baby daddy or your baby mama's dad likes you, like their biological father likes you, but this their mama don't. It's because their mama's a fucking dark witch and they're a fucking loser. And they trying to sacrifice you. They don't give a fuck who they harm to get to you. I feel like, bitch, try it if you want to. You gonna get your wig blown off, bitch. And if you ain't got one, you your ass gonna be whatever you whatever you got on your fucking head. You ain't getting ready to have it, dumb asshole. Somebody here play too much. They play too fucking much. Who this damn King of Swords child? Where I get irritated. What's the King of Swords? If that's not if that's not the case, flip the rose. Put yourself where you belong. Just pay attention to the energy and what the fuck I'm saying. Period. What's the King of Swords? The Tower reverse and the King of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, this King of Swords could be telling this this person dad. I swear it's their daddy. Whoever this is is their dad. This King of Wands in the reverse. This is their father telling them something, telling them the truth about something, or speaking some sense into their ass. Something like that. Or there's something going on in court. But I just feel like this is an older couple that's divorced. And this is a bitter ass bitch. They're jealous of you because this King of Cups can't get their mind off you or whatever. I, I, bitch, mind your business. How about that? It's like, I feel like somebody need to mind their fucking business. This Queen of Swords is just, they just want whatever the fuck you got. That's all. They're a jealous ass wench. And that's why your ass, uh, yeah, all right. The world, yeah, this cycle is closed out. But somebody here want to do something to your platform to shut you up. But I feel like the truth won't come out any fucking way with the, with the uh, damn sun. The sun, somebody's in competition or whatever the fuck this is, but they weird ass. Bitch, please. Or this is this is like some some like a, a good against evil or a, a dark witch between a, a, a it's a dark witch and a white witch here going back and forth. But I feel like you're not. You're not. You're not going back and forth with nobody fucking raggedy ass, old ass, fucked up ass, stupid ass mama. <laughs> like, let's really get into it. You ain't you ain't going back and forth with this bitch about shit. You don't even fucking barely even know the bitch. You don't give a fuck about her. So you ain't going back and forth with her. This person secretly don't fuck, don't fuck with you. They don't like you. So if they see their son or whoever the fuck this King of Cups is fucked up about you, they're like, yeah, well, I know a way we can get back at her. And this King of Cups in reverse is so lost and so cursed and hexed because of their raggedy ass mama that they don't even know no better. You didn't have to fuck for some of you. You didn't have to put a restraining order on their ass and block their ass and everything because they so lost and dumb. Child, what's that? Knight of Cups in the damn reverse and the damn Ace of Wands again. Child, look. That's exactly what this is, Aries. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if this is your story. So maybe it ain't gonna be every damn body's, but it's somebody's story though. So, okay. Somebody here. There's something that's coming out inevitably. I don't give a fuck if this bitch here try to do some damn magic on your platform or whatever this is that you do as a high priestess. The truth is going to come out because somebody daddy going to say it. Somebody dad got integrity or whatever this is. I don't know. This King of Swords right here or whatever. I don't know who the fuck that is, but I get this. Somebody dad. <laughs> and somebody got sense on this damn board. And I feel like they like you. Like, you're a good mother and they love you and they damn grandchild. If you got a kid with this King of Cups reverse, like, what the fuck? So, yeah, this King of Wands in reverse is demonic. It, they're a warlock. It's because they fucking mama. They mama didn't curse their ass. This King of Wands in reverse is reckless. They're going around having sex with every motherfucking body. That's why that love affair is here. Intense and unlikely and out of the blue. This person is bitter, just like their raggedy ass mother. And this King of Swords is giving him a pep talk like, yeah, my nigga, you need to get your shit together. <laughs> you need to get it together. Speaking some sense into this motherfucker because that's what the fuck they need. Seriously. This person is, is jealous. They're bitter. They're competitive and all that dumb ass shit. Let me see. What's the King of Wands right here in the reverse? Somebody needs to learn about their family background. That's what the fuck they need to learn and who the fuck this damn wench is of a mama they got. What's the King of Wands reverse? Yeah, the five of swords, exactly. This is like this person not understanding something. There's miscommunication or mis something is misconstrued with the five of swords. Aquarius Venus is here. 
this per this this bitch over here playing mind games with this king of wands in reverse. That's what it is. Causing this person to self sabotage or overthink something or trying to teach them how to win at all costs or trying to teach them how to do some dumb shit to their own damn baby mama, baby daddy, or whoever this is. I really get that it's like that though. That's what this is. It feels like that, like strong, but it could be something else. Flip it. Flip it, switch it. What's the what's the uh the Emperor and the Queen of Cups. Yeah, somebody, this is all about you opening your heart up to a, 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 a masculine, a divine masculine. This King of Cups don't want you to date nobody else. In reverse, that's that ex of yours over there. And what's the King of Wands reverse with the Five of Swords? Judgment reverse. Hmm. Yeah, this, this King of Wands right here is bitter as fuck. They're bitter. And their judgment is off. Somebody here is lacking self-awareness. They can't make decisions on their fucking own. And I feel like somebody getting ready to talk some sense into this motherfucker. Because that's what the fuck they need. I'm telling you. This is ridiculous. The judgment in the reverse is somebody repeating a karmic lesson. They're not learning shit. Somebody here is unforgiving. And this is all kind of false accusations and shit like that. This Queen of Swords. So this queen, if you're a spiritualist here, this Queen of Swords ass bitch could be saying, yeah, they doing spell work on you. They doing spell work on you. But it's really this bitch. It's them doing it. You trying to help this person. But this Queen of Swords could be saying that, oh, because you're a spiritualist, that you're doing spell work on this person, trying to confuse them to get them to attack you and do all kind of nasty shit to you. You ain't doing shit to this motherfucking damn King of Wands reverse, King of Cups reverse. That's why they like this towards you. So this this bitch right here. I hope somebody get this hoe. They need to get God. And I feel like it's getting ready to come out that that's what the fuck they did. Yeah, some sort of lies are being exposed. It's getting ready to come out that that's what, they're, that's what they did to keep you and them at odds. And then it's even worse if y'all got kids. Why the fuck would you do that? <laughs> like, this bitch right here, somebody need to whoop her ass. She need a good ass, old-fashioned ass whooping. That's what this hoe need. I'm telling you. I am telling you. So now, so now, okay. All right. I feel like I just uncovered something for somebody. Now somebody's in deep regret. They in deep regret for what they did. <laughs> what's the what's what's the um what's the tower reverse? The Queen of Pentacles. What's the tower reverse with the Queen of Pentacles? This is you, a good witch here. The chariot. Yeah, you got some sort of victory here. You won. The secret competition, whatever somebody's trying to do, you fucking won. And I feel like that somebody's daddy is telling their son why the fuck they broke up with this whore. Because they a damn hoe. They a hoe, they a gold digger, and they ain't got no damn morals. That's why. <laughs> That's exactly why. The king of swords is saying, yeah, you know, I broke up with your mama because your mama is a damn loser and she was doing black magic on me and all kind of shit. <laughs> I really feel like somebody, I swear that's the conversation. I swear that's the conversation. For some of you, somebody here going to court. Okay. For some of you, their mama could have remarried too. They could have gotten, but I feel like they did magic to do that. <laughs> like, the bitch is just dumb. Whoever the fuck this is, I'm sick of this hoe. I'm real sick and tired. I don't know. Now, child, look, I'm getting so many messages. I don't even know if I'm on point no more, but it don't matter. So, the cherry, you can have cancer in your chart or Capricorn. Definitely go watch Capricorn. So, you avoided a tower with the tower in the reverse. Or there's an inevitable tower. Something's going to come out to regardless. You can't avoid something. Or they can't. But this is a victory. Love wins here. I feel like you're still welcoming. You're still calm. You're still nice. You ain't hurt nobody. You ain't do nothing nasty to nobody. You just kept moving. Very strong. Very powerful person with the chariot. That's willpower, determination, carriage, and moving the fuck forward. Never nobody gonna stop you from doing whatever the fuck this is. You already know what the vibes is. So, I don't know. What's a... Uh... You know you're a good person and that's why ain't shit happening to your ass. Something getting ready to happen to this little bitch, though. Little does she know with her lame ass. So what's this flings and all this other shit? Mama's boy and Ponzi scheme and their glory days are over. Yeah, because it is. 
arousing fear and alarm. Somebody that taught this person how to do some sort of sex magic or they're an incubus. I feel like they're naturally like that though because they have a demonic attachment because their mama cursed them. Before they, before they, whatever they did back in their day and they didn't heal from it because you can see the bitch is still bitter. <laughs> they still bitter. They ain't changed at all. Death card reverse, queen of swords reverse. They ain't doing shit. This is a nasty little bitch. They ain't changed. And now their son grew up to be a damn bitter narcissist. What the fuck is the flings here with this all this other shit? The damn Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, loss of money. That's one thing that they asked. Uh, the bitch is, is, is pining over money, material shit. And I bet you if they, if they did remarry, I bet you if they didn't do no spell work, they wouldn't have got this damn man or this damn money. <laughs> they, this person is a fucking loser. Whoever this is, what's this uh flames with this Ace of Pentacles reverse and all this other shit spirit, please? Okay, yeah, look. Seven of Souls reverse. The wow, the world is in reverse this time and the magician is upright. <laughs> So a missed opportunity here with the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, look, your Emperor coming in. <laughs> Knight of Souls reverse, the Ace of Cups. Nine of Pentacles reverse, the Lovers reverse, Six of Wands reverse. <sighs> okay. I don't know. <laughs> like, okay. Seven of Souls reverse. Is you turning over a new leaf or your consciousness is kicking in or this is somebody else's ass and they really gonna realize that they missed a damn opportunity listening to their fucked up ass mama. Now they under judgment. And they daddy telling them why. <laughs> this is why you're under judgment. This is why you getting that ass tap. This is why you got legal issues listening to your fucked up mama. I can't stand this hoe, bro. <laughs> like, I, I really can't. And I ain't gonna just blame her because this somebody is this person is grown, but I'm just saying. Aquarius moon here. Somebody trying to run away from their consequences, the world reverse, something here failed. They try to sacrifice you for some sort of money or whatever the fuck this is. Losing asshole. And the magician is you being able to see very much so clear, or somebody is seeing clear about something. This is having mental strength too. I just heard agility. Okay, something about precision. Like you can see very clear through the fuck shit. The magician is you are very powerful. You know how to manifest. And this spiritual warfare here is all in the mind. So, you know, you're very strong minded. It, it, it is what it is. What's the seven of swords in the reverse? It's like somebody old as fuck sitting back making fake accounts and shit trying to stalk you and watch you and sitting up here lying and doing all this dumb shit. Page of Wands reverse. What's the seven of swords reverse? Page of Wands reverse. The justice. Yeah. <laughs> so somebody what? Their behavior is predictable. They're acting out. They this is an entitled ass losing hoe that's acting out or acting a damn fool because they didn't get their way or whatever the fuck. Justice here. Somebody could have court. Something getting ready to be balanced. It's getting ready to be fair. So you bitches better, you know what I'm saying? Get your get your mind right, hoe. I guess you better get that stupid ass story together. But something is going to be fair, it's balanced, it's just. There's karmic justice here. And now somebody's trying to run away from their consequences with their pussy ass. What's the Ace of Pentacles reverse? Or somebody getting ready to confess something. I don't know. Or whoever they... Who, two, seven of Swords reverse is a two-faced hoe. The Seven of Cups here, yeah, seven, seven, seven. Feel like they were warned to stop doing whatever the fuck they doing. Yeah, this person could work for the government too. They both could be military or they, they have some um government jobs or whatever the fuck this is. But I do see the high priestess with the hierophant. So we got the seven of cups. What's the ace of pentacles reverse seven of cups? Scorpio, Venus. The six of pentacles, Taurus, Moon. So a lot of new doors and opportunities could be opening up for you here. Or somebody's confused about something that they ass ain't getting. Or how something is balanced out or how whatever the fuck this is. Six of Pentacles is equal give and take. It's gifts. Reciprocity. Somebody, somebody there's a gift here that's cursed or hexed. 
So be mindful of what you take from somebody, money and as well. Child, if it don't feel right to take it, don't take it. I feel like somebody's confused now about if you're gonna like if you if you actually are here to help them or not, because somebody has confused their ass. Like, are you helping me or not? Like, that's what I'm saying. Shit is stupid. But you could you could also you could be very gifted, very talented. So you have a lot of new ideas and opportunities here that could be opening up. A lot of different options to make money, different ways to make money. Uh, somebody can need your help, but you could be confused on if you should help their ass. What's the damn? What's this seven of cups here? Somebody can need help with like an addiction or something too. Yeah, ten of swords reverse. What's seven of cups with the ten of swords reverse? Yeah, somebody looking. Like, how the fuck did you overcome this mess that somebody did to you? Oh, I'm attacking the wrong motherfucking person. Who just said that? <laughs> Me and her channel kind of like the same shit. La Goddess Tarot, my bitch. I, I love her readings. Like, because th that's what it's giving me right here. Like, somebody is attacking the wrong person. They realizing it. Now they just fucked around and lost an opportunity and all that. They losing money and everything. Listening to this bitch. That's what it is. This could be like your ex here crying or heartbroken or whatever the fuck this is because they see that you overcame some sort of attacks. It's because you're the wrong person to be attacking. And I feel like they were so hell bent on thinking that it's you attacking him. And you weren't. This they fucking mama. This bitch getting ready to be in debt and some more shit. She getting ready to be in debt. Dumb asshole. Nine of swords reverse. Man, look. <laughs> What's and you was trying to help them. You was trying to help them. That's all you were doing. Yeah, Virgo. What's the damn Six of Pentacles? You give back to your community. I feel like you're getting ready to see an increase too with your money. You're in a position of power and authority, and you're not abusing it. This person don't know what it looks like for a motherfucker to not abuse their power, cause they dealing with a narcissistic ass mama figure. What's the Six of Pentacles? Yeah, the Six of Wands. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like they took help from somebody that was trying to attack you behind the scenes or they paid into something. Six of Wands in reverse is definitely a loss, though. Or their pride and ego is bruised. <laughs> but um, this is a smear campaign. Flying monkeys. A whole bunch of motherfuckers. Somebody here paid to try to get people to attack and you overcame it. Ten of Swords in the reverse. And this person, this ex of yours, or whatever the fuck this is, is looking like, what the fuck? How did you overcome that? Bitch, the fuck you mean? Somebody's an earth angel, a star seed, a twin flame. You got some sort of mission on this earth. And it's to take that damn mama out. That's the first mission. And they ask him ready to get taken out. It's no worries. <laughs> you ain't got a fret. Okay, period. What's the, uh, sorry, mama's a fucking clown, bro. I'm telling you. This is like the clowniest bitch I've ever seen. The clownest of the clowns. What's the damn world reverse? Somebody failed their mission to take you out. And there was a whole bunch of people working with this shit too. Yeah, two of swords in reverse. Libra moon. What's this world reverse? Two of swords reverse. The knight of swords in reverse. Yeah, some sort of lies has been exposed about some sort of attack here. Knight of Swords in reverse is a hitman. That's a follower. Somebody that don't got a fucking mind of their own. Somebody being a coward or whatever the fuck this is. These attacks failed and lies have been exposed. Or there's like a realization about something. Mm-hmm. Somebody here got a God complex, inferiority complex. Like, somebody need to go heal. What's the damn right of souls reverse? So they did something and thought that that was the right thing to do for this damn woman over here and this little girl or this little bitch, rather. Because I don't see no woman. I see a little ass hoe. I don't give a fuck. I, I don't give a fuck, fuck if the bitch is 80. You a hoe. Hey, <laughs> your ass can ready to get fucked up. I don't give a fuck. Y'all bitches ain't old enough to get out here and be attacking. I don't give a fuck if you 90, bitch. The fuck you talking about? Age ain't shit. You out here acting a damn fool? You can be old enough to get that ass tapped. Just like how you about to get right fucking now. Sending somebody to antagonize you and cause all this ruckus and shit. That shit failed because you the wrong one to be attacking. That's why. 
The fuck wrong with these stupid ass whores? Trying to get you to shut up about their nasty ass criminal ways. And this night of souls in reverse, I feel like they're already a criminal because they're a damn narcissist because they narcissistic ass mama. The fuck? What's the damn magician? Confirmation. What's the magician? Supposed to have Gemini, Sagittarius, and their chart or whatever. What's the magician? Yeah, the Hierophant, period. Yeah, you manifested whoever the fuck your match is. Some of y'all going into a union or this is you. The whole thing was for you to balance your feminine and your masculine and balance your, yeah, your yin and your yang. And I feel like you you did that. You you balanced it. This this was all a setup anyways. Or this was all a test from spirit. This was all a test from spirit. You know what I'm saying? And you passed it. You passed the test. So this is you balance spiritual, balancing spirituality with practicality. That's what you did. You, you did it. You did what you're supposed to do. And you definitely have a twin. Doesn't mean you're supposed to be with him. I ain't talking about they ass right now. I'm talking about you and coming into union with yourself. So what's the magician with the hierophant? I feel like you manifested a kingdom spouse or somebody you're supposed to be with, period. Yeah, the eight of wands and the four of swords in reverse. Yeah, so this is an awakening. A huge one because this is big right here. This is an awakening. Okay, this is you coming out of isolation or coming out of your head about something. Finding that mental strength again, like I said, that that um warfare that you've got broken free from. And things are moving forward in a positive direction for you with the eight of wands. You got good shit coming in. It's positive, positive vibes, positive, whatever the fuck it is that's coming in for you. And whoever the fuck this is right here, this this. Somebody that lives beyond their means. This losing ass bitch. The only reason why her ass got shit is because she probably laid up somewhere with a nigga. And I'm going to say it just like the fuck that. Or for some of you, I don't know who the fuck this 9 of is. <laughs> like, I, I try to look. I don't know. I got so heated with them. So let's pull some other cards, Aries. We already deep into it. I don't give a fuck how long we've been on here. Period. So this somebody mama, I don't know if this your ex mama, but I, I get strongly that it is. Because some of y'all, you know your ex's mama don't like you and you don't like that stupid old hoe either. <laughs> let's, 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 let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. You don't like the bitch either. The fuck wrong with them? Yeah, they try, they try or want to tarnish your reputation. I don't want to read this shit. I'm going to get a different one. I don't want to read that. We know what they fuck they try to do. I ain't going over it. But I do want to pull from here though. Yeah, look, legal matters. And because this bitch has probably got a high status somewhere or she's sitting high and mighty in that nine of cups, like, yeah, I get what I want, bitch. You ain't getting none of this. You losing hoe. You ain't getting none of this shit. Sitting up here stirring up all this chaos with her evil ass. Yeah, promiscuous, man-eater, fuckboy, in tune with their sexuality. <laughs> Take several seats, getting on your nerves, annoying as fuck. <laughs> Splitting hairs. Differences are so small. Finding fault in something minor. Petty distinction. For some of you, somebody is jealous of the way that you look. Like, this is this bitch here jealous of, of how you look or whatever. They just judging you and talking shit about you or whatever the fuck this is. Like, girl, you just mad because you looking old and raggedy and worn the fuck down from whatever you was doing back then, bitch. <laughs> Like what the fuck? You you bad you're you're mad because you're a fucking uh a dark witch and you starting to look like one hoe, you fucking loser. Starter wife, supporter through thick and thin, but easily discarded after spouse have achieved has achieved goals. Child please. What, <laughs> what, what is this criminal record? Homelessness. Whoever this is, this shit came off for Capricorn. This person getting ready to get fucked up and go to jail because listening to their mama or whoever this is that they with, with their bitter ass. Yeah, sacrifice. Gold digger. Sacrificing you for a damn gold digger. They gold digging ass mama. Oh, this person shouldn't have got so mad though. Oh, she broke up with me. He left me. So I need to do something about it. Somebody acting crazy. I, I don't, like making permanent decisions off some temporary fucking feelings. Like, bitch, if you go sit down, sit down and heal somewhere, then you wouldn't be feeling like how you're feeling. Somebody here getting ready to get their ass locked up listening to this bitch because their emotions is all fucked up. And going to the one person that don't fucking like you, of course they're going to tell you to do some fuck shit. Stupid hoe. Child, 
Child, look. Somebody mama raggedy as fuck. Somebody, ooh. Ooh, the way I want to hit this bitch. <laughs> I want to hit her for you, Aries. And shit, this shit resonating too. The fuck? It's resonating like a bitch, actually. I be trying not to say that because I don't want nobody to be like, oh, you're projecting. Bitch, I ain't projecting. We all in a collective together. I'm helping you and y'all helping me. The fuck? So let's see. And the Aries in me is just, it's always going to resonate. Aries dreams always resonate. And I don't like pretending. I ain't pretending I'm not in a collective because I am. We figuring this shit out together, period. So let's see. What's what's this? Golly. Okay, damn. So we got financially using you, financial abuse, controlling income and expenses, hiding or hoarding money. This queen of swords could be hiding some inheritance money from this damn masculine. Or the inheritance money could be that this person's chakra is out of... Their chakra system is blown the fuck out because they're cursed. It's like, this is spiritual inheritance. This person could be making money off their talents and gifts and prospering somewhere. But somebody here is... They got their ass under control. It's this, it's this bitch over here. That's possessed their own damn child or whatever. It says opposites attract new and exciting... Disconnected, blocked, canceled, deleted, distorted messages. Okay, it says scrambled words, misleading, excuse me, stuck energy, twisted messages, intimidation, causing worry and triggering fear. Yeah, somebody here just oh, this how they this how they financially use somebody or whatever this is, man. I don't know. Could be a Leo here. Gut feeling, intuition, wisdom, and inner guidance, and private investigator, inspector gadget, digging dirt. Yeah, so this is somebody trying to dig up dirt on you. It's because this bitch is jealous. They're jealous because you sexy as fuck, Aries. I know you sexy as hell. Uh, Aries always sexy, and they got sex appeal. As an Aries moon, I know what it is. Aries Venus, I know what the fuck going on, period. This bitch is jealous with her bland ass. <laughs> Fucking loser. That's, what, that's what's really going on. But then she got this bitch, she got this person over here watching you and shit. Watching you and trying to figure out who you're dating and saying nasty shit about you. Probably all kind of shit. Got this person watching you thinking that you on something. Stupid ass. Child, please. Somebody here said nasty shit about you and for you to go towards somebody else too. So this person could be with somebody else. Okay, we got puppy love here. Young love, past lovers, someone from the past is thinking of you. Reunited, infatuation, holding on to the past. <clears throat> Let me see, what's private investigator? They got this person to attack you and watch you for them. That's what they did. Yeah, competition. Or this person taught this person how to compete with you as a grown ass man. That's crazy. And I feel like, you know, you know, whatever this man problem is, they done told this bitch what their problem is. And the person is using it against them. They give, they don't give a fuck about this damn man. If that's their son, the bitch is just lost. She need to be somewhere else. She need Her ass needs to be in a mental asylum. Something wrong with her. To be doing it to your own family. Your own, your own flesh and blood. Trying to win at all costs. Someone's intimidated by you. <laughs> What's gut feeling? And this is you as a high priestess having gut feelings and shit. <laughs> Knowing what somebody doing. You knew what the fuck it was the whole damn time. You already know what's up with this damn private investigator. Could be a Virgo with that. That looks like a, a Virgo card. This shit been going on for too damn long. Yeah, we got thirst trap in the damn reverse. Attention seeker, needy, willing to sell their soul, and that's in the damn reverse. That's what this bitch trying to sacrifice you for with her fucking loser ass, because she raggedy. You gotta use spell work to get some dick. <laughs> and you don't. <laughs> and you don't. The fuck wrong with her, jealous asshole? What's this damn disconnected? I ain't got nothing nice to say, Aries. So if you don't like what I'm saying, you can click off. Go find somebody else that got that sweet, them sweet readings. Because I ain't nothing sweet over here. This shit is real fucking life. What's disconnected, blocked, canceled, deleted with puppy love? What the hell is that? Puppy love my ass. What's this? Somebody trying to ruin your reputation or trying to like send you people so you can fuck on them. And then it'd be like, oh, I got some evidence that this person is a whore. 
I knew they was a whore. Bitch, you jealous because you look raggedy and you got to do some spell work to, to get a little bit of dick. To get a little bit of sucky, sucky, licky, licky going on in your life. Weird asshole. Yeah, what's this? It's taking too long to come out. Sitting on a pedestal. Too perfect to fail. Idealistic, respected, admired, and naive romantically. Yeah, somebody mad because you disconnected from them. You cut them off. You cut them off. That's where it stem from. Naive romantically, inexperienced and overly romantic, easily tricked and manipulated by others. Whoever this, this man is right here, they listen to too many damn people instead of their own fucking intuition. They didn't listen to their gut feeling. And even if you did move on, you don't want to be with them, they should handle that shit like a real fucking man. How the fuck you going to run to your raggedy ass mama that hates you and hate them damn selves? Be for real. Be fucking all because they need validation from their mama. They miss their mama or their mama wasn't there or their mama this. Bitch, your mama is raggedy. And she can watch me too. I know she watched me. Bitch, you raggedy. You're raggedy as fuck. Your son know it now. And they've been new, but they need your validation for what? Bitch. <laughs> Punk asshole. Somebody's a raggedy ass loser. Just watching your every move. So I know they watching it. You raggedy, bitch. You raggedy. You know it too. Loser ass hoes. Always trying to block somebody and trying to stop somebody because they look a mess bitch please and then they try to act so uppity like they got this and got that bitch you wouldn't have none of that if it wasn't for that damn santeria that damn black magic hoodoo voodoo whatever you bitches be sitting around doing to get something you're a jealous hoe and i said what the fuck i said Trying to have this man out here, devil tendencies, exactly. Obsession, addictions, impulsive, naughty by nature. This man out here operating their shadow side and they got a higher purpose. And this bitch over here cursing and hexing them and making it harder for them to break free or whatever the fuck they need to be breaking free from. Got them over here acting a damn fool to Aries. Or oh, this Aries doing this shit to Crosswatcher. Flip it, switch it. What's, what else here? This shit is running me hot, for real. Like, you bitches really got a problem. Y'all need to be told something. And I'm be here to tell you. I don't give a fuck. You flag my shit or whatever the fuck you bitches do. 303 on the clock. Because I know I ain't going nowhere. I'm needed. You're not. Remember that. What else? <laughs> I'm needed. You're not. What the fuck? We got to uncover some shit like this about you bitches. Okay? So you bitches can't keep moving forward because y'all do too damn much. Sitting up here trying to block somebody because you're jealous. Girl, get a fucking grip. Extraterrestrial, out of this world, nothing like they have seen before. Stranger danger, online competition, someone you don't know personally watching you. Exactly, work at it. Can't turn it off, work comes before love. So, I mean, you can work a lot. Whatever you do, work online or whatever you like. Probably like what you do. You can be a star seed, for sure. Like, or... You and your purpose, yeah. Work, does, I mean, you're probably on a journey too. Love it, doesn't feel like you're materialistic or anything, it's just like you like your job, you're working. Somebody here is watching you. The fuck? okay, you and your purpose. Somebody's trying to stop you from doing that. That's why they're online. That's why I say online competition. They don't want you to, they don't want you to do that, or they want you to stay glued to, to work here and not find love or well, whatever this is. We're gonna see when we get over there. Moved on, distance does not make the heart grow fonder. Leaving the past behind and living rent free can't get you out of my head on your or their mind. Yeah, this is somebody here that's still thinking about you. This damn this this person's feelings is so back and forth and conflicted. They don't even know what the fuck to do. Should I trust them or should I not? They've been going back and forth with their intuition for so long, but it's because their mama been doing spell work on their ass. That's what. That's why. What's danger? Da uh, danger, danger, or whatever. You're a stranger, danger. What else? I'm getting people to watch you and shit like that. Underlying health issues. The undiagnosed and unidentified, undisclosed, in denial and unaware. On a mission, determined and focused.
somebody could wash you a lot while they're at work. Whoever this bitch is, they sit at work if they got a fucking job. They probably do. And that's cool, bitch. You can really lose that too, though. <laughs> Doing all this shit to somebody that's a damn starseed or earth angel or whatever the fuck, and you're trying to convince yourself that they're not. Yeah, look, child, parental issues. I'm telling you. Somebody fucking mama with their stupid ass. Parent getting in the way. Controlling parental figure. Late bloomer. Needs time to learn. Grow, naive, innocent, success later in life, delayed, slow, and steady rise. Yeah, mental health issues. They mama and yeah, with they bougie fake ass. Dumb asshole. Well, they trying to prove that you ain't, you know what I'm saying, who you are. Yeah, poetic justice, retribution, and karma. Rebound. Somebody here doing this shit to you, and you ain't even doing shit to their ass. You ain't even bothering them. Child. We got alliances. Yeah, somebody's on a mission and focused to do something. Unions working together, strong bonds to win. And I feel like they've been doing spiritual warfare on you. Like, they've been doing magic with, with underlying health issues. They've been trying to fuck with your mental. That's what the fuck they've been doing from afar. That's what they've been doing with this weak-ass magic that's not working. <laughs> they say milk and dry. Takes or uses up everything from you or a situation. And overlooked. Not being valued or appreciated. Undermined. <laughs> that's what their whole goal was. Let's work at it. Let me put this back. What's this work at it shit? Betrayed. Violated by intentional actions. What else? Cancel. No longer existing. Bully to the point of depression. That's what they want us to do. That's what they want us to do. Bitch, you ain't going nowhere, have you? 11.44 in the summer. I bet you ain't going nowhere. Fuck wrong with them. Who the fuck they think they are? Wish fulfillment, dreams coming true. And then we got party animal. Life of the party, social butterfly, in the scene, in the streets, having more fun and abundance. This you, too. You having a good time. Ain't nobody touching you, bothering you. Ain't no magic ruining you. You're still working. That's what I get with that card. Like, you're still working. And I feel like, you know, you know how to balance the two now. You know, you, you work and you have fun. You work and you have fun. It's like, you know, you balance your real life with your work life because you, you could do something spiritual here aries and that's why it's important for you to balance the two and somebody like yeah well we're gonna keep them stuck or isolated or whatever that's their whole goal was to ruin your life by keeping you blocked or in hermit mode all the damn time scared to trust scared to be around people scared to love like bitch that's you your raggedy don't be projecting your raggedy ass shit onto somebody that's you bitch <laughs> that ain't nobody but you, ho. That's why you sitting back at wherever the fuck you at watching and stalking this damn divine feminine because that's what you want it to be, but you're not. Let's really get into it, raggedy. That's what you want to be, but you're not. Fake ass ho. What else? The bitch's feelings going to get hurt today. Because you ain't fooling nobody. You're definitely not. And they're trying to run. Trying to run and act like they ain't doing shit. Bitch, we know it's you. Get a grip, ho. We got rebound. Thank you. Next. New life, new lover. Yeah, I told you somebody got a new lover. They admiring from afar. They can look, but they can't touch. Online stalking. That's in the reverse. Divorce. I feel like that, that relationship falling apart. Their relationship is falling. Whoever they with. What's, what else? Or somebody, low vibrational, yeah, it's, yeah, whoever this is, man, this masculine right here, this is what this is, this masculine is still, they, they've been trying to like hold their feelings in or stop themselves from feeling anything for you by going to fuck the next bitch or going be, to be with the next person. And it's been eating them up inside the whole time. But instead of them following their fucking intuition, they probably got don't got one child. Well, everybody do, but I'm saying it's blocked because of what they mama done said about you. Instead of them fucking listening to their intuition, I guess, they went towards somebody else. Putting material world above connection to the divine. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> I bet if you ask this bitch what their religion is, well, they probably ain't even gonna say Satanist. I know they're not, but they are though. I know that that's what they worship. They in some cult too. I know that as well. What's rebound? <clears throat> Left on red, ignoring and moving on. Mm -mm -mm. So their relationships 
hitting rock bottom or whatever whoever this is somebody relationships hitting rock bottom and they don't they they this person because they're so heartbroken and in pain from their fucking childhood they don't know how to take rejection then they start acting like a damn narcissist <laughs> yeah no cap authentic and truthful they can't they can't take nobody telling their ass the truth or they need to be honest with themselves about why the fuck they keep getting left on red and why they keep getting whatever the fuck this is. What's no cap with? They don't like to hear the truth and nobody got time to be dealing with that shit. So they don't like to hear the truth. Then they then they leave somebody on red. Then they go fuck the next person. It's like that's how this person move. But it, I don't know, man. Somebody. What's the no cap card? Train ride. Exactly. Been around. Sexual conquest. Runaway lover. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, likes to smash. Exactly. <laughs> That's all that it is. What's admiring from afar? <laughs> oh, this is damn losing ass mama of theirs. That's what they taking up. That's what they taking after. This loser bitch. That's why they, they mirror their mama. They look up to their mama. And they getting ready to see why the fuck they should not. They ain't shit to look up to. I don't give a fuck who, I don't give a fuck if it's your mama or not. This shit is very hurtful, but at some point you gotta say fuck her and love God more. If she ain't nobody, the fuck? You need to be listening to the Lord, not the damn devil. Cause that's who the fuck the bitch is. Like really, it says sheeple, follows the crowd, easily influenced. Yeah, I feel like now this is you. You don't even wanna fuck with this person no more because they didn't fucking did all this shit to you. It's like, what the fuck? You don't wanna fuck with them. They too easily influenced. They keep listening to their fucking mama. Their mama don't like no damn body. Definitely don't like you. Provocateur. Not afraid to challenge status quo. Ruffles a few feathers and challenger. Yeah, and you and you and you mirror back to this person what they need to work on, but they have been running away from it. They'd rather hide their pain or go fuck other hoes, listen to whoever their mama is, or their mama sitting back cursing their ass behind the scenes. And watching them ruin your life. It's like they're using this person to ruin your life here. 313 on the clock. Yeah, and this is you. I told you you fine as fuck. Snatched. Extremely too hot to handle. Very attractive and divinely guided. Angel numbers and synchronicities. Period. Yeah, and it's a isolation. Remote and alone. Deserted. Feeling rejected. Intense sadness. And inactive. Resting. Going within. Wasting time. Unwinding. Yeah. Child, look, what a, what's low vibrational? Well, this is what this person is doing right now. I don't know. For some of you, this person got an addiction. Just period. Yeah, we got clickbait here. I feel like this person abused their power too. Their mama taught them how to do something or whatever the fuck this is. And they just been doing it ever since. Clickbait, irresistible temptation, bait and switch, catfished. I feel like something, th this person has a demonic attachment though. Whether they know it or fucking not. But we got to stop wasting time. Begin now. Don't question it. Let go of what doesn't serve you. No, this is you. Top dog. Boss babe. Leveling up. Penthouse status. Yeah, trying to take away something that you work hard for. Bitch. Yeah, look. Family issues. I feel like, yeah, this is... This is... You have a family with somebody. You have a family with somebody. You have kids. And they mama keep getting in the fucking way. Unhappy child. Partner dissatisfaction, parental co-parenting issues, unhappy family, arguments are dysfunctional. There's family and shit arguing here about you. That could be what this is. Everything is everybody arguing about you. And you sitting over here quiet. It's like you don't even know what the fuck going on. You got to get readings to see what's happening. The fuck? It's crazy. Fishing. Casting hope, wishing for success, patiently waiting for opportunities or something better. Unchanged, unaltered, and living in the past. Better lover. Someone else is better for you. Someone good has an eye on you. Mechanical. Thinking logically and without emotion. In too deep, no way out. Emotionally invested. Responsibilities, commitments, obligations, important duties, burdens. Intrusion. Forcible entry, not minding their own business. Scratching posts, only used when it's convenient, once in a while, lover, part-time lover. Mm. Spreading lies, slandering and bad-mouthing, tyrants, cool and oppressive, woke, politically aware, activist, truth seeker, and then we got closeted. Skeletons in the closet, in the closet, and secrets and lies. Yeah, that shit getting ready to come out. You woke to this bullshit-ass behavior that this masculine guy. 
And if they want to stay cursed and run around and act like they ain't got no sense, and that's on their ass. But I feel like, you know, the more they, that they do that, they ask them ready to go to jail. <laughs> let's, let's, let's do that. You know what I'm saying? Because your ass ain't got no fucking money. So I suggest you go sit your ass down somewhere. Because <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? Somebody got enough money to take you to court, buddy. So you better sit your ass down somewhere. And you better go tell your mama to do the, to do the damn thing. You better tell your mama to do the same and mind her fucking business with her ratchet ass, ratchet raggedy ass at that. So I hope you karmic bitches that watch me today, you got a message. If you somebody mama with your old ass and you doing this to your own damn child, shame on fucking you, bitch. Shame on you. Or if you a baby mama that's acting a damn fool, bitch, I'm talking about you too. Because I'm sick of seeing y'all fucked up energy, bitch. I'm going to talk about you. You look dumb. You know, sit your raggedy ass down somewhere and take care of your fucking kids. For your ass be sitting in jail somewhere. Bitch. Well, give me a card. Or two or three. So we got Venus here. So Taurus Libra. Love, beauty, harmony, relationships, values, and aesthetics. Yeah, you look good as fuck. So we got magnetism, increase in intimacy and emotional fulfillment, indulge in life's pleasures, enhance personal charm and attractiveness, harmony, diplomatic and cooperative with others, appreciation of art and aesthetics, people want to be your friend and someone will ask you out. And the timing at the bottom of the thing, it say in three to four weeks, period. And somebody else is up here, it say dependency in three to four months. So I don't know who that is, but I don't get to this year. I'm reading the opposite side. I'm sick of talking about their ass. But we got a more here. Taurus. You can be on the cusp, Aries of Taurus. So it says deep connections, meaningful choices, strong support system, prosperous partnerships, financial success. You will be given an offer of love or money, harmony and balance. Someone new will enter your life. Someone will give you new experiences to explore and grow. And it says definitely yes, period. Yep. That's that Venusian energy. Bringing love into situations. Nobody got time for this hateful ass shit that you bitches is on. Nobody want to deal with that shit. Okay, damn, that's a lot. So we got Sagittarius. Okay, we got Distorted. Lots of pending work to finish. Maybe waiting for a particular decision. Be patient. Be discreet about grievances. Drawn to petty arguments, lack of contact from someone, slow down and disagreements. Yes, but need to wait. <clears throat> okay. The opposite side say communication. The struggle is over. You will be inundated, inundated with whatever, with emails, calls, or offers. Projects will grow wings. Move forward swiftly. Choose wisely. You will hear from someone you've been waiting for. And it says yes, quickly. So yeah, whoever this distorted energy is, there's a distorted energy. So you can need to have patience with this person because they distorted. They like to argue and all that dumb shit. Public scrutiny. Mm. This is a mid-heaven career. Okay. Individual goals, ambitions, and achievements, perceived role in society, career path, professional strengths, public perception, and areas of success. Maybe somebody could be getting ready to tell you about something. Okay, that could probably start an argument that's going to piss you off. But let's see. So we got public scrutiny. I mean, public scrut scrutiny. Career setbacks, delays, or difficulties in achieving professional goals. Issues with authority figures, criticism from others, and negative public image struggles to define true purpose or vacation. I mean, or vocation. In the next few days, uh, mm -mm. stress. When two planets are, oh, it says opposition, need for balance. When two planets are approximately 180 degrees apart from each other in birth chart, polarity and duality of planets, balancing act and inner conflict. It's unable to find balance between love and career, inner conflict and sense of tension, indecision or internal struggles, tensions in relationships, power struggles, or obstacles in achieving goals, feels pulled in opposite directions, or struggles to find resolution in four to five years. 
Okay, something that's going to affect somebody in the next few days is going to affect their ass for the long term. Four to five years, that's a long time to be sitting somewhere stressed the fuck out. <laughs> like, what's this uh, spirit? I feel like somebody is stressed out. They're mad at them damn selves for listening to somebody whack ass. <laughs> they, they need to be mad at themselves. What, what's, what's public scrutiny? What the fuck is that? Or somebody going to try to argue with you and I feel like they ass going to get fucking, you going to air their ass out. And hurt their little feelings. Yeah, we got wicked here. And then we got witchy on the opposite side. That's you. Spiritually enlightened. Empathetic towards others. Blah, blah, blah. Morally corrupt. Deceptively cunning. Darkly motivated. Vindictive. Devious. Evil-minded. Wolf in sheep's clothing. Clout chaser. Pretends to like you but only using you. Not good intentions. Disruptive change. Oh, yeah. All right. What's, what's public scru scrutiny? The lifestyle. Prioritize health. Okay, this is the sixth house. Okay, Virgo energy. Employment and job responsibilities. Health and wellness. Routine tasks and daily rituals. Service to others and volunteering. Organization, self-care, and skills. So we got lifestyle here. Prioritize health and wellness. Help others. Getting fit. Feeling committed and loyal and love. Taking care of others' needs. Strong work ethic. Attention to detail and, dil and diligence. And finding fulfillment and work through contribution. And the answer says yes. But maybe this would, something that you do for work could be... Something that you do for work. Something could be uh, being said. Okay, okay. <laughs> what else? Oh, oh. Security. Sagittarius again. I'm hearing somebody say, security. <laughs> security, come get this bitch. Okay, say, so examine your relationship with money. Be attentive to long-term financial security. Um, scarcity mindset, stockpiling away, placing too much value on material things, stable position. And we have yes. So you're getting a yes. Things are leveling up, I feel like, for you. Somebody else is getting publicly uh, scrutinized or whatever this is. Yeah, filthy. Uh-oh. Someone getting ready to come out about somebody. Unethical actions, tainted reputation. Sexually gratifying situations, leaving you emotionless, distorted or un unhealthy thoughts, abusive, toxic relationships, mentally stuck, vain, and hypocrite. Somebody getting ready to get outed. What's stress? Give me one more. Somebody getting ready to get outed, period. They should have left you the fuck alone or whatever this is. Detached. Time to acknowledge, okay, this Capricorn energy. Time to acknowledge how you may be trapped and to begin to search for the truth. Decisions will be easier to make than you think. Chains are loosening. Difficult cycle to end and issues are easing. Moving on, then we have yes. And then we have disruptions, Gemini energy. Misunderstandings, gossip, work-related issues, friendship, breakup, need to address social conflicts. Forced to move, forced to quit, inappropriate or aggressive manager or boss. No, but temporary. <clears throat> Somebody's detaching from whoever this fucking so-called leader is. They're detaching from this bitch. Whoever this is, they, with their big ass mouth and their lying ass ways. Somebody is, okay, so somebody could be getting ready to have money problems. Because they were getting their money or getting help from a loser hoe. They was getting help from the wrong person. So now they're getting ready to have money problems. They're getting ready to cut this person off or something like that. But I feel like that karma come with them being scrutinized or... They karma is going to have to be... Because they did too much to you, though. Whoever this is, the hitman I'm talking about. Is, is somebody is... I don't know. Somebody is helping them do something that they don't need to be taking no money from. That's what it sounded like to me. And now they asking Ray be homeless or something. And they're going to be frustrated. Well, Aries, what a, what a shame. <laughs> like, what a fucking shame. What a mess. What a mess. 
So this was your reading. I hope this reading gave you clarity. Like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on, press the all button so you won't miss my reads. And I'll talk to y'all later. Definitely leave me some comments down below. I want to know what's going on. Okay? I didn't curse these hoes out today, but it shouldn't matter. Y'all should be happy. Somebody got to curse their ass out. So see you later, Aries. Bye.